I'm ready. We're live. I'm gonna find the playlist. What's up, guys? Do, 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 do. So, for this episode, we thought, since the album came out, which I hope you all are enjoying, we were gonna go through the uh, track list of the album. Uh, just kind of briefly, and just talk about the inspiration for it, uh, talk about the process of recording it, or writing it, if it was the songs, um, so yeah, we're pulling up the playlist right now, because we don't know it by memory. Nope. Alright, uh, so the first track was White Noise, uh, which is what the album is called. Yep. Uh... <coughs> I wrote the uh, the spoken part, but I thought Seth had the better voice for it because Seth's just got such like I've got a deep voice, but Seth's voice is naturally deeper. And um, it's unfortunate how deep it is. I sound like the devil. No, it's not unfortunate. Hey, how's it going? Want to sell your soul? It um. But I, I always think of Seth, like, I could hear his voice uh, being used in commercials to sell things, and this was the track that was like, we gotta sell the album. Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, Sunday! So, that was 1999. that. 1999. <clears throat> Buy sad. one, get one free. Uh, the next one was... A Typical Day in Band Practice. That was your idea. Yeah. That, that was... was a really good idea, too, because it's hilarious. Yeah, that was... Uh, I didn't know... Uh, the funny thing about it is I wrote it. Uh, I wrote the skit for it. And I knew the songs that I was going to play to, um, like... <laughs> I knew the songs that I was going to play to... Uh, for Seth to be like, that's obviously, you know, whatever, by whoever. Um, but I did not have, uh, when the time came to record it, I did not have a... Um, Damn it. Nice. <laughs> Got your odd. I didn't have an idea or an original song written, so I just improvised some chords. <laughs> and, 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 the, and the second time around, when you're like, play it again, I play it differently because I forgot how I played it the first time. That's amazing. I, you know, I didn't notice that, honestly. But now so, I'm going to go back and listen to it and be like, <laughs> now, now it almost, yeah, now it adds like a little subtle joke to, because it's like, oh, he's even playing, a, it's not it's even different. the same. It's not even the same thing. Play that again, man. It's so good. <laughs> different song. Wow. Let's see, what do we got next? Weekends with Ben. This is about Jordan's DUI. He got a DUI. <laughs> this was actually... Not in real uh, life. I'm pretty sure this was the first thing we wrote for it. It is. You sent it to me, and I was like, this is great. Yeah, and I knew... Um, it's about being in jail with a guy that sleeps naked. Pees naked. Pees naked, I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot about that. And uh, I, knew, I, knew I, want, <laughs> I knew I wanted Seth to be... Ben in the song. So if you've heard the song, this was one of the ones we released before the actual album. Uh, he's got a spoken part in it. Yeah. And he did it perfect. Because we, we didn't practice the song. No. Uh, it's just like, here's how the singing and the guitar part goes. And here's where you will do your uh, voiceover. And he did it perfect. One take. That song was one take. I have a very fast-paced attitude. Mm -hmm. We gotta get it done, and we gotta get it done quick, that way we can move on to the next thing. Time doesn't stop, why should we? Yeah. Till we're dead, of course. I mean, obviously. <laughs> uh, Mortality's a thing. Yeah, unfortunately. You know, and Weekends with Ben, I don't want to move on yet, because honestly, that is one of, uh, it's like a story, and I don't know how long it took you to write it, honestly. How long did it take you to write it? Uh, that took me, Honestly, that was probably the shortest amount of time uh, for the songs yeah. that I wrote. Um, that was probably the shortest amount of time. It took literally, like, I wrote it one morning before work. That's a great... What? <laughs> you wrote a really great story really fast. You really did, dude. Like, it's not a joke. Well, thank you. It's very creative, and it, it's, it's funny, and it, it, it's, it makes sense. Like, the story lines up. I tried. And you mean to tell me that happened within like it was about an hour. Yeah. An hour. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right. Well, that's fucking awesome. Uh, public service announcement. Uh, yeah. So this one um, was 
is. <laughs> Literally, so what I did, um, we had 20 tracks at one time. And, um, I want, I, we ended up adding one. And so it ended up being 21. And we were both like, well, it needs to be either an even number or just go for 25. 25. So this, this was a really short one, uh, that... <laughs> Uh, we did just to make it 25. That was the last one that was recorded. You can even play it right now. It's only 12 seconds. Yeah, here it is. This is a public service announcement to remind you to always use your turn signal. That <laughs> way people don't think you're an asshole. Facts. Always use your turn signal. I was in traffic uh, today. Please. Use a turn signal. Three or four people did not, and they almost caused a wreck, because traffic's crazy right now for some reason. Christmas. I don't... What time is it? Oh, it's the 21st. <laughs> uh, that makes sense, I guess. Uh, the next one after that... Fucking Chad, dude. Chad. I love Chad. Well... We wrote this one together. And we wrote it about a guy that we both know... It's a guy we work with. ...who is just a typical Chad. Yeah, it's a guy we work with, but not in our department he's in a different area but, yeah he works but, somewhere completely different altogether but we deal with him his name is also not chad nope <laughs> um, we but did he, not, uh, he looks like a chad he's totally a chad like um, his mom fucked up either that or his middle name's chad and this is uh this is how we think that he acts he, he probably <laughs> i mean he does act that way that's the thing that's true um he's such a chad after that was the river song intro. Yeah, it's which a, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> that's like number six. <laughs> and <laughs> so yeah, that was another uh, little joke uh, because it's not the first song, but oh, it's, it's it, but it's an intro to the song after it as well. <laughs> Um, and it's just like a little guitar thing that I wrote. Um, it's 52 seconds. We can play it too. Nah. Come on. <laughs> but yeah, it's just a little guitar thing I wrote. Do it for the kids. All right. So that was, uh, you can hear kind of like ambient noises outside. It was recorded, uh, in the afternoon, uh, with the wind blowing beside a creek um not a river but the creek song didn't sound as good so this kicks ass though i'm sorry i'm not gonna apologize actually because this is delicious <laughs> this is a fucking tasty ass jam You know, you can play the hell out of some blues. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'll this next song, the river song, because it was performed by a river. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, that's how I got the title. But Fuck it. A, dude. And then, uh... uh what? <laughs> then, <laughs> what? Fuck it. We're done. We're not even halfway through. The one after that is the river song, The Real Thing. The Real Thing. <laughs> and it's, uh, the actual river song that I had written. It's good. But... I, gotta, I always wanted to. Uh, I wish it was. I always uh, wanted to have a song with a little intro and then like the actual song, uh, so I did that uh, just because of that. Um, after that, First Baptist Non-Denominational Church of Latter-day Catholics. Yeah, buddy. Catholics. That was uh, that was made up by both of us on the spot one day when we had actually. Uh, we were, we had a lot of stuff written. We were like, we'll go ahead and record everything. And we did that, uh, by accident. Just kind of popped it out. I played, uh, I played a keyboard and set it to a church organ. It was solid. Sound. And, uh, Seth had the idea of it, uh, saying something churchy just yeah. because of the way it sounded. And we were both like, you should totally say something about how jesus was not white <laughs> yeah because he wasn't and so so i just played the little chords and he's like you know this is a friendly reminder that jesus christ was indeed not a white man <laughs> yeah he wasn't there's no way the sun would have burnt him after that <laughs> i'm just saying up, up next is the song sexy, sexy which, which was 
the second song that we wrote for it. This is the most embarrassing one for me. It, it is one of my favorites because <laughs> I, all I did was play a bass, just one bass line. Yeah. And I and I had the idea, but I wanted Seth to do it just again because of his voice. <laughs> and I said a lot of sleazy shit. Yeah, I it said. Was awesome. Well, I told him I was like, I want this song to be called "Sexy," but the idea behind it was literally just say the filthiest, dumbest things you can think of, like a sixth grader. <laughs> just and that, it worked. That just figured out about pussy. And it works. That's what. That's exactly what it is. A sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fucking bass line, though, dude. I'm not even kidding. And then we got every song on here is pretty solid. I know. I, the instruments I are great. It. Thank you. The fucking yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Like without the instruments, it wouldn't be what it is, and it's it's awesome. It's fucking. It, we made uh, the worst wedding DJ in America. Um. That's also one of my favorites. Yeah, what we did, um, <laughs> we used, uh, I've got a little, like, portable record player, and I knew I wanted the, we wanted the scratch sound in it, and uh, so what we did, we used some copyright-free music that I, <laughs> that I had on vinyl. Copyright. Copyright-free piano music. Uh, that That's I, the name of the album. That I had on vinyl. And I was, it, it's just a little skit. But I think the, the funniest part to me is that every time you let the record play just a little bit longer and then you <laughs> started <laughs> scratching it. And, and you improvised the... Uh, let me see your hands in the fucking bag. Yeah. <laughs> in the projects. In the motherfucking projects. <laughs> I would get shot. It's, uh, it's, hard to believe. Get it's hard to believe that we didn't, like, lose it during that. Uh, it was solid as fuck, though. Next it up. It came out perfect. Drugs. Drugs. Uh, that's just a short one. Uh, it was another one to kind of fill out to make it uh, 25 tracks. There's really yeah. nothing special All about filler, it. no killer. Actually, it's pretty good. Hold on. I keep playing them, but you know what? We're plugging ourselves right now again. <laughs> again. Can I hit that just to see... What this is all about. I mean, it's kind of, it kind of looks like a jewel. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> yeah. And what's real funny is drugs are not hard to find in the Bible Belt. Not at all. They're actually easy <laughs> to find. After that, another one of my favorites, <coughs> The Parking Lot Chronicles. It's it's like 10 minutes of just ridiculous. Yeah, all it is is uh, experiences we've had in the Walmart parking lot. Yeah, I mean, everybody's had them, too. You can't tell me you haven't. Yeah, I, I, I've been a part, uh, I've been a part of some sketchy stuff in Walmart parking lots. I've seen some sketchy stuff in Walmart parking lots. Like, Walmart parking lots are just notorious for fucked up shit. That's where it all goes down. That is where it all goes down for some reason. Uh, the next one... I don't get it. Uh, so we had the longest track followed by the shortest track, which is actually an accident because we record everything on an app on my phone. Yeah. And we were getting ready to record something and I dropped the phone. Dropped it! And it was just boom. And I and you can hear me say, oh, good. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then I pick it up and I blow on it because there, there was dirt on the screen. Oh, good. So the whole, thi <laughs> the whole thing is, oh, good. <sighs> and then me blowing on it. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. <laughs> and you can, you can barely hear it, because I'm, like, kind of far away. And it's just like, oh, good. And then uh, after that, we have... Who has, who has AIDS? AIDS? This was Seth's idea. This it was, was. This was the first thing Seth wrote for the I album. got real defensive about it on Facebook, too. <laughs> I want to talk about that, because it was funny that it, that it just so happened to be that way. Like, I was just like... 
no, I'm not going to take your judgment for this, but I should have just ignored it because it really doesn't matter, okay? The song speaks for itself. It's not a song, it's a skit. The skit speaks for itself. This was, uh... It's improvised. It, it was improvised. It's ridiculous. And you can hear both of us, uh, try to hide our laughter at yeah. that point. Uh, well, there's one point where you try to hide your laughter and there's a point where I try to hide it. And it's because it was improvised, so we were just making up stuff on the spot and i'm really proud of it i have verbal diarrhea <laughs> most of the time and improvisation is where i fit most because it just feels right it usually feels natural it's like we're yeah. just having a conversation about shit that isn't really happening so you really got to use your imagination for it and you got to use your imagination quick so you got to really use your head to do that shit and that's that's what i like the most about it, improvisation and i'm glad we did it that way i'm yeah. proud of it I'm proud as fuck of it. I don't give a shit. Like, that was good. <laughs> I, 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 that's why I got so defensive about it, honestly, is because I feel great about it. And then somebody was like, ah, you, you sound stupid. And I'm like, yeah, I know. The, uh, that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> the next one was the second song. Written. Free Jazz. Free Jazz. And that, uh, that was inspired. Was Inf inspired by free jazz. It's inspired by actual hand sanitizer <laughs> that we claim is jizz whenever we go free jazz and smack that shit that goes everywhere, you know? It, it looks like a fucking cum load. If you let it dry. <laughs> if you let it dry, it looks like jizz. Um, so we, uh, you know, after the <laughs> we're immature. That's what <laughs> that's, that's basically like. This album is what... Uh, <laughs> This is what 12-year-olds would find funny, yeah, yeah. but we also find it funny. pretty funny shit. Uh, after that is Peaceful Protest. Which I love. And the idea for that was, you know, you see uh, people protesting against Trump all the time. Um, but I thought, you know, what if... Well, the first thought was, okay, what about uh, people uh, who, like, just a Trump rally, just something that takes place at a Trump rally. But then I was like, no, what would be even funnier is people protesting Trump because they don't think that he is, um, conservative enough. Not radical. Like, what? Yeah, like, we need someone more radical than Trump. And, I mean, I'm sure there's people out there like that, but... Oh, I'm sure there is, I, I have never met anyone that bad. Like, I've met people who support Trump. I've met people who don't support him. But I've never met anyone that said, we need someone way more radical. But I thought it was a funny concept. It was a great concept. <laughs> and in this climate, it was perfect. I know. It was it's, perfect. It's, it will not age well, though. Because it will... It, uh, if, if, you know, people years from now listen to the album, it's going to date the album. But... Oh, yeah. uh, who cares? That's what was going on now. I mean, you can still... Like, I go back and watch South Park episodes from, like, 2005 and shit. That's true, that's they're true. They're making fun of stuff back then. It's just like, <laughs> I even watch some <laughs> shit where they're making, like, uh, I watch shit from the 1980s all the time, like Bill Hicks. That's true. Yeah. Right. I mean, they make solid points, uh, just due to the fact that history does repeat itself. So, yeah. I mean, a lot of the shit that's, that's happening now has happened before, except for this weird climate where you really can't say too much yeah or uh you yeah don't... that that one will offend people oh yeah I'm <laughs> for sure i offended people at work the other day on purpose about donald trump <laughs> people are so sensitive about that guy it doesn't matter what side you're on mm -hmm. people are just super sensitive like, i hate him or i love him you know it's like weird he's got him like <laughs> he's got you guys after that, we had... Let's see. Oh, it's back now. Uh, Duraflame, the, the Supernatural, Supernatural Firewood. Firewood. That is, uh... All, actually, that would be the first thing that was written, because you actually wrote that months before we even started working on the album. Oh, no, it was like years. I yeah, that yeah, years that, it was, and it was just... Like, it was supposed a, to be a stand-up It was supposed bit. to be a... Yeah, a stand-up yeah. bit. And I was like, no, we could sell that as like an infomercial. And that's, yeah. And that's what we did. Yeah. And I liked the end of it because I forgot to stop recording. <laughs> so at the, at the end, I'm like, is that it? <laughs> and then you're like, yeah, that's it. And then I realized I was still recording. I was like, and real quickly, I was like, we can make it part of that. I was like, do you think anyone will buy it? And then you're like, probably not. And I was like, oh, that's a good stop. That's a good stopping point. Probably not. Like, I know they won't. After yep. that. Another, this is uh, another song of Seth's. 
suck and prod. It's about abortion. And it will offend people. But I thought it was hilarious. I've got so. to be honest with you. I find the argument of abortion to be quite hilarious. I thought it was great. So that's part of the reason. I wrote it. <laughs> there was nothing about that song that I didn't like. It was great. You know why I say that though? Like part of the reason that I find it so funny is because they're arguing about something that is literally nobody's fucking business. Except for the person and possibly the other party. Yeah. There involved. should be there should be no argument there. It's, 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 the it should be uh the woman who is deciding it. Uh, if there is, um, a man in the relationship, uh, you know, with him and the doctor, no more than those three people should be involved with, um, the decision to have an abortion. Right. And, and you know, I, I, I didn't mean to get, like, political. Well, it's true. But, I mean, it's not yeah, really I mean, political, it's common and sense. You, and you don't have to, <laughs> you don't have to agree with it, that's the thing, like, it's fine if you don't agree with it. I can, I honestly see why people wouldn't want that, but it's, it, your it's not your place. Your it's not your place to tell someone else how to live their life. And that's pretty much why I wrote that mostly. Cause, cause I was just like, well, <laughs> we can just make abortion hip again. <laughs> we can make it hip again. Then we've got the, the adventures, adventures of, of Hillbilly Bob, Bob and Backwoods Joe. Joe. Another skit about the area that we live in yeah and there's uh just listen to that one uh yeah. you'll you'll know someone that talks like that <laughs> i talk like that sometimes and don't even realize it man that's uh the best summer camp money could buy no oh boy that was another seth original yeah it's about getting molested at camp and i've never been to camp it's such a short one too and it ends so abruptly it's kind of like drugs it ends so abruptly <laughs> but it, it it just works perfect you know honestly <laughs> give them a taste too um after that was the two no uh, i think we skipped one yeah uh, sorry, sorry we're still, still learning. learning that's one of uh, my favorite no. ones <laughs> that was uh that was seth's idea <laughs> he was like dude how about uh a skit where we are lifeguards that suck at their job <laughs> And so, <laughs> a lot of people die. So we uh, we improvised that one as well, uh, but that was Seth's idea. And it was fun. It was. <laughs> it was so sorry. Fun. We're still le we're still learning. We're still learning. Which uh, See which tomorrow. also uh, it was uh, that was also a contender uh, for the album title. Sorry, we're still learning. <laughs> sorry, we're still. <laughs> but uh, uh, but it was after we had already told people that White Noise was going to be the album title. Yeah. So we were like, ah, we'll just keep it white noise. But that would have been a good album title, too. Sorry, we're still learning. After that is the two-step recorder lesson. I gotta uh, be honest with you, I saw this the other day. I don't remember it. It was a short one that I recorded to make it another uh, 25 tracks. Okay, all right. I was just like, <laughs> and, that, and that was it. I just knew that uh, I have a cheap recorder. Hey, everybody, this is the Longer yeah. here, and I've got a lesson for you today. This lesson is only going to cost about $10 at your local music store. And what you want to do is you want oh, to go really in and buy now. a children's yeah. recorder. And then you want to take that shit home. <laughs> this also comes with just a few steps. Step one is open that shit up. <laughs> Step two, surprisingly, is not necessary to learn any notes on the recorder. Just put that shit in your mouth and blow. <laughs> The ultimate lesson is to piss your dogs off, and this is how it sounds. Hey, hey, dogs. <laughs> hey, dogs. 
<laughs> and, and the only reason, yeah, because I knew my dogs hated it. Um, I have three dogs, and all of them hate the sound of that. So I was like, I, I know something that can make it 25 tracks. Humanity's end. Uh, the second longest track, and another Seth idea. Yeah. He said, he said, I've got an idea. Uh, God and Satan make a deal with each other to wipe out the earth and just be by themselves. And party together. And just party together. Uh, that was improvised as well. It was, and it was awesome. And uh, Did a lot of good stuff there. Uh, yeah, and it was improvised, which makes it even better. Um, then we had Weekends with, with Ben, ben Reprise. Reprise. And uh, I wrote that one, and I, I, <laughs> I, I felt like Ben just needed some closure. Yeah, makes sense. And that's sense. all it was. And I wrote it in the style of a blues song <coughs> because, you know, he just lost his wife. Yeah. <laughs> and his children. And Oh, yeah, I was saying that when I forgot about that. Yeah, so that's like it because he uh, reprised his role as Ben. Duh. And then, ah. then the last one we got is Thank, thank you. you. And it's just a short piece, uh, just thanking for you. Listening. Thanking you guys. And it thanking ends, you. It ends with the phrase, I promise we'll get better. And will hold true to that the second album which we already we, are we are sh gonna start working on the second album shortly um and i i think it'll be even better than the first because well, we yeah we know what we're doing we know our strengths when it comes to the songs and the skits now and i promise it'll be better we're just overall <laughs> getting more and more badass as time goes we're gonna keep doing all kinds of dumb shit or I am anyway. I'm going to amplify. Yeah. We're never going to stop doing dumb shit, so stay tuned. <laughs> hey, it's going to be great. It's like jackass, but with less pain. We're not hurting ourselves. <laughs> well, <laughs> thanks for watching this uh, breakdown of the album. And I hope you guys enjoy the album. Go listen to it if you haven't yet. And we'll see you later. Sucky!